Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this Monday morning right here at the New York Stock Exchange. We have a new trading session, a new trading week, and a new month. Yes, it's August. It's the latter part of the summer, so let's begin to enjoy it. Things are still heating up outside. The question now is whether or not things are going to be heating up right here at the big board. Let's now take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to start off this, the first trading session of the new week and month as well. U.S. stocks, they're rising this Monday morning as investors kick off the first trading day of August, looking to build on six straight months of gains. Stocks shaking off concerns about the Delta variant of COVID and stocks that would benefit the most from a continued economic recovery, leading gains pre-market. Also, the U.S. Senate finalizing the text of a bipartisan infrastructure bill, lifting optimism. The bill includes $550 billion in new spending over five years. That's on top of previously approved funds of around $450 billion. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 saw its sixth month of gains in July, although volatility increased amid concerns about the spreading Delta COVID variant. It's the best monthly winning streak for the benchmark since 2018. In regards to COVID, the U.S. averaging more than 72,000 new COVID cases a day in the last seven days, levels not seen since February this year. But Square was sinking pre-market and is rising since after Jack Dorsey's payment company announced a $29 billion all-stock deal to buy Australian installment loan provider Afterpay. And lastly, some advice, it is possible to go to Fenway Park and not wear any team gear. It actually is. I've proven it.